Hello, John here. Over the last couple of months while I've been doing these videos about 6502, I've had several questions and comments about what is binary, what's the dollar sign, and uh, stuff like that. So what I thought in this tutorial, I'll just do a quick tutorial about the programming uh, numerics that we uh, use. Now, from the uh, videos I've done before, you've seen two different ones, but there are actually four different types of numeric systems that we use as a programmer and also in everyday life. Right, see, with bi bi uh, binary is a, uh, a is a base two numeric system. Basically, you can have either zero or one. And the only reason that you can only have zero or one is because computers use transistors when they store when it stores it in memory, and it's either on or off. It's it's storing an electrical charge or it's not storing an electrical charge. So that's represented as zero and one, and that is the um, numeric system that the computer uses at the very low level. But we also use uh, some other um, bases. Now in everyday day-to-day -day life we use base 10 and that, that is um, that a value can store any number between um, between 0 and 9 so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and then you go 1, 0 but that's then two digits okay there is another base which is octal which is base 8 and can represent a number between 0 and 7 and then you've got hexadecimal which is base 16 and that can represent a number between 0 and f where uh, and the reason it goes to f because then 10 is a 11 b and so on now base 10 is basically handled just like this when you are right when you've got your column, when you're writing your numbers, you actually split them into columns. You know, so the first column is ones. So whatever number you put in there is is a one. So nine would be nine times one is nine. The second one is your ten column, because we're working in base ten. So every column is a a, a base of ten. So. And the way you work that out is by doing um, 10 to the power 2. And that would, at uh, 10 to the power 1, and that would equal 10. The next column is 10 times 10, which is 100. And then 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, which is 1000. So each column is a magnitude of 10 more. So if you have a number that says, two one zero three two one that is two times a hundred thousand plus one times ten thousand plus nothing at one thousand plus three times one hundred plus two times ten plus one which equals twenty one thousand three hundred and twenty one and the only numbers that you can use are between naught and nine now in terms of assembler the notation is hash so if you put a hash in front of the number the assembler would know that it's a decimal number so for example variable equals hash one two three four five or LDA hash one two three or STA two th um, two three two or jump one oh two four now these haven't got the hashes because if you don't put a hash in it assembler automatically defaults to base 10. We can also have base 2. Now this is slightly different because as in base 10 each column is a power of 2. So here is 2 to the power 0 which is equal to 1, 2 to the power 1 is equal to 2, 2 to the power 2 is equal to 4, 2 to the power 3 is equal to 8 and so on. So each column, so this column is 16, this column is 32, 64, 1 to 8 and 2, 5, 6. Now the line here is representing the, the byte um, boundary. 
So each byte has 8 bits, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the way you do it is you multiply the, um, you add up all the columns after you've multiplied them. So for example, here is 0 times 256, which equals 0, plus 1 times 128, plus 0 times 64, plus 1 times 32, and so on. So you end up with this expression. So, yeah. But then you knock it down, so you're only adding up the 1s with 1s in. So 128, 32, 16, and 1 is equal to 177. And so this binary representation is equal to 177 in decimal. And as you can see, we can in base 2, you can only use zeros or 1s. You can't use anything else because it's a, a numerical representation of the transition, uh, transistor state. Now, in assembler, the notation is a percentage sign. So if you have a variable, you would say variable equals percent and then the binary number so it would be 0110101 and so on and same with the instructions LDA hash percentage and then the binary representation and then store as well is the binary representation but you must use the percentage sign or the assembler won't be able to work out what's the number you're trying to give now the next uh, base base 16 now this is uh, a bit different because not only are we using numbers 0 to 9 we're also using some letters to represent the other numbers that can't be represented in base 10 so A will equal 10 B equals 11 C equals 12 D equals 13 and so on 14 and 15 so here we are we've got a representation here and so same thing again in the columns so the first column is 16 to the power 0 is equal to 1, then 16 to the power 1, 16, 16 to the power 2, 16 to the power 3. I haven't done any more because the numbers got so big it was getting a bit silly. And so you can then put any number between 0 and 9, A, B, C, D, E and F into here. So is with this number here, it's as we did with the binary, we do 9 times 496 plus 3 times 256 plus 16 times 2 plus 1 times 1 which works out to 36864 plus 768 plus 32 plus 1 which equals to 37665 so 9321 in hexadecimal is equal to 37665 so when you're using it in the assembler you always put the dollar sign in front of it so, for example, a variable would equal $D780, or you could use it in commands by saying LDA hash $32, or store in $77, or jump to $ABCE. And then the last base is a not, so, not as used as often as binary and hexadecimal, is called octal, and that is where you can store numbers using the numbers from 0 to, 0 to 7 see this is wrong here Got that, A. 0 to 7 which is 8 numbers so same thing again each column is a power uh, of 8 so 8 to the power 0 is 1 8 to the power 1 is 8 8 to the power 2 is 64 8 to the 3 is 5, 12, 8 to the 4 is 4, 9, 6, 8 to the 5 is 3, 2, 7, 6, 8. And we do exactly the same thing again. So we multiply the number by the column value and we add them up. So in this particular case, it's 3, 2, 7, 6, 8 times 0, 4, 9, 6 times 3, 5, 1, 2 times 7, 64 times 3, 8 times 2, 1 plus times 1, which equals to 1, 1, 2, 2, 8, 8 plus Three five eight four plus one nine two plus sixteen plus one is equal to sixteen o eight one, and that so o three seven three two one in octal is equal to sixteen o eight one in decimal, and the way you use octal in the assembler 
is you use the at sign. So the variable equals at and then the num the octal number or LDA at and then the octal number or store at the octal number. Now I can um, I can show you how to use these but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to some code that I've written and this is my machine code assembler. I haven't, I've just managed to convert it from my old assembly program to the new uh, assembler which is in G P uh, CBM PRG Studio. So what I'll do is I'll fire the program up in the C64 and in there there are some conversion utilities. So let's fire it up. 4, 9, 6 times 9 there we go. So this is my machine code monitor that I wrote when I was 1985. So that would have made me uh, 19, 18, yeah, somewhere around there. And so if we use some of these uh, numbers, so we'll go to the decimal one and we'll do decimal 210321. There's a function in here where if you type in hat, the uh, hash sign, let's make sure I get it, there we go, and the number is 210321, 210321, and press enter, it will convert it into all the diff other numbers for us, oh, and it blew a fuse, and the reason is, numbers too big because this converter only converts from up to 65,000 so the best thing to do is just pick a number up so 4287 42879 there you go and so it converts it into hexadecimal binary and octal we can also do it the other way so we could say right dollar a 77f and there what converts it into the other formats percentage so if we copy that 101 00111 and then 0111111 there you go so that's converting it back round and we can do the same with octal so one two three whoops at sign at sign where's the at sign there we go one two three five seven seven and it converts it all right so that's and and these are the the four main bases you would use in in programming so decimal because we all know decimal we use it in our day-to-day -day lives binary because that is the default computer uh, numeric system because everything is it is just zeros and ones and then we have two other bases that represent numbers better and machine code normally is in hexadecimal but there is also octal All right and let's just quit out of here Ooh. there we go see I even forget my own commands lot <laughs> and let's go back into it there you go and as you can see my machine code monitor represents everything in hexadecimal so everything that I do in machine code is either binary or hexadecimal most, more than likely hexadecimal for everything but I programmed all these converters in there just to help me out if I needed to convert a number like that. So, I mean, this machine code monitor was written a long, long time ago. I've only just managed to convert it, but this will be put on my Git. I've created a GitHub account, and this will get put in there once I've commented everything in there because it's 
quite large it's something like uh, 4k it, it basically fills up 4k so I, I start it at um, 9000 and it just fin it just finishes uh, compiling just before basic so if I just scroll all the way down and then just go up a bit there we are 9 FBE so it's only just shy so there's, it's a big old uh, piece of software that I wrote when I was in in my teens doing my A levels and um, this will get put up on GitHub so I hope that this little video explaining the numerics around programming um, helps you understand a little bit better between the four bases which is base 10, base 8, base 16 and base 2. Until the next video I will see you later. Take care. Bye.